Hey, what's up? I am Shelby. This is Channel Notes, a channel where we discuss all things YouTube. And in this video, I want to talk about my New Year's resolutions related to my YouTube channel. This video is brought to you by my brand new course, Thriving on YouTube, a step-by-step -step guide. This is your guide to launching and growing a thriving YouTube channel. This course will give you my guide to creating a binge-worthy YouTube channel that converts your casual viewers into subscribers. It'll give you a deeper level of clarity clarity around what you actually want to do with YouTube, what videos you should be making on YouTube, the techniques that you need to create YouTube videos that actually reach more people, and the general foundations of a successful YouTube channel. If you're in daydream mode about your YouTube channel, this is the course that you need. If you have created a few videos and it hasn't really worked for you and you don't feel like you have direction, this is the course that you literally need. If you're re-evaluating your established channel because it's not quite going the way that you want it to, this is the course for you. Basically, this course is for you if you want to create a thriving, successful YouTube channel. I will have the link down below for you to learn more and let's get on with the video. So my first resolution for YouTube is to do more showing and less telling. I make a lot of videos where I sit down, I talk, I list out the points, I say all the things and they're great, but they also get very same same and I also feel like they're a little less personal. I've been doing sit down videos for a while and I do love them and I do think that they are really, really helpful but it's time for me to start doing a little bit more showing and a little less telling so that I can create a stronger connection with my audience and create generally higher quality, more motivating content. So that might be in the form of more focused vlogs. So on my main channel, that'll include like life admin days, showing me going through what I do on a life admin day, self-care days, showing people what I do on a self-care day, focused like transformational videos, so getting from point A to point B and how I do it. On channel notes, it might be doing something like a challenge where I actually show you my Myself going through that challenge or like taking you behind the scenes and show you how I do things. There still will be sit down videos naturally because I actually don't have the time to create all show and no tell videos but I want to just like slip in more of those show kind of videos into my channel. So that is my first resolution for 2019. Keep in mind these are like resolutions not really goals these are just like intentions. That's why they're not smart. Secondly Instagram consistency. So if you follow me on Instagram on Michelle I'll be, or even on channel notes, I've just sucked at Instagram for the past year. I think it started out as sort of like a mental health thing and then it turned into like, oh, I just want to live in the moment kind of thing. And then it turned into like, when would I ever have the opportunity to take photos? There were just all of the excuses. I was pumping them out. So for this channel, I've decided no Instagram. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I've deleted the Instagram account for channel notes because you know what? I just need to concentrate on getting consistent videos up on this channel. For Michelle B, on the other hand, pretty great with videos, but not so great with the Instagram. So what I have done is I've actually already gone out. I've done like a few photo shoots type thing and I've already curated about two months worth of content for my Instagram. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm going to have more like Instagram planning days throughout the year as well. I am actually planning on doing a whole video on how to do an Instagram photo shoot or just create more consistency on your Instagram. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing down in the comments below. My next resolution is to batch absolutely everything. I talk about batching a lot, but at the end of last year, I just wasn't putting it into practice until December came around and I realized how many videos I really wanted to push out in December to give my channel a push and also just because I was really excited. So I decided that I would create about 18 videos that were high quality for the end of 2018. So these weren't just like daily vlogs. These are like proper, informative, sometimes like show, not tell kind of videos. Life got absolutely wild and the way that I managed to make it through was through a lot of batching. I batched absolutely everything that I did. I sat down and I filmed like seven videos in a row and that was just the norm. To be completely honest, it was the most productive month that I've had on YouTube of 2018. I really want to spend less time working in my business or in my YouTube and more time working on my YouTube in 2019 and I think batching will be one of the techniques that I'm going to be using a whole lot to make that happen. My next resolution slash intention is to create at least two more income generating projects in 2019. I talked about this a bit before on channel notes but to do what I love I need to be bringing in more income. To provide the value that I do I need to be making it sustainable for myself. So I've got my thriving on YouTube course which is an awesome goal to have ticked off at the start of 2019 
and I have my 30 Days to Simplify ebook, which I sell on my main channel, which still generates income to this day, which is absolutely amazing. I have sponsorships that I deal with, but I really want to create a few more income generating things for both Channel Nodes and Michelle B so that I can just generally be able to support myself and do the things that I love and be able to provide as much value as possible. Next up is pitching to brands that I love more. Working with brands can bring in a good amount of money, but it's not really the best way to be making money on YouTube. I want to focus more on revenue generating projects, things that I actually sell products, as opposed to working with brands. In saying that, it's a really good amount of income that you can get from working with brands. And when I work with brands that I love, I feel like aligned and I feel like I'm doing the right thing by my audience. I pitched to a total of one brand in 2019, which was just a fun, exciting new experience for me. They did accept my pitch. They did pull out of the contract after I'd already filmed the video. So that was a really fun learning experience. I've never actually been sort of not screwed over, but I've never had a brand treat me in that way. Usually brands are really respectful and good to deal with, um, very communicative, um, let me know exactly what's going on. So it was just a good learning experience to realize not all brands brands are as great as Skillshare and Blinkist and all the brands that I have worked with previously. So in 2019, I want to pitch to more brands with strong values that really align heavily to my own and pitch to brands that I use a lot or that I really want to use so that everything feels in alignment. And I feel like I'm working with the brands that I want to work with rather than accepting people that come to me sort of reactively, I suppose. The next one is to upload more consistently to channel notes. As I said, this is a resolution. I don't want to put any big promises out there because it does scare me and I hate disappointing. I did mention in my last review that my hours were going to change. They have now changed so I have more time. I'm already feeling so much more free in my life. What I'm hoping is that change allows me to put a little bit more time into channel notes. I'm really excited about this channel. I've told you guys before this is my side baby. Like I love this channel and I know how much value it provides. Like I get comments all the time on my main channel being like I'm from channel notes. What are you doing? Where are your videos? Like, we want to see you. We love your stuff. If you liked this video, you might like my video on um, ways to spring clean your YouTube channel. I'll have that linked on the screen. It's like a good New Year's video. It's something to do around New Year's, like mid-year, or just whenever you're feeling like your channel's in a little bit of a rut. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to check out Thriving on YouTube, my new course, down in the description below. I appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you soon.